Good morning, Jeff, Diana, it's Mike Phelan. I want to give you a quick update on your house, guys. So uh, this is the video that I told you I'd send you every week. Um, and with you guys being remote homeowners, um, I find that this is, this is very helpful for you to see our progress and to have that reassurance that we are doing our job for you and that we're making some significant progress. Talking of significant progress, guys, we passed all of our rough inspections yesterday and our window flashing, our window flashing inspection. Um, that's one that usually the inspector finds something. You know, we, we've gotten pretty good. We have our checklist. That eliminates 99% of the issues and then that 1% that the inspectors sometimes find. We're really, really tuned into that too. But um, to pass on your first go is, is pretty good. <laughs> so we passed on our first go yesterday. We got through all of that. And what does that mean for you guys? That means that we're gonna be insulating your, your house. Um, so on the schedule, we have it on for Monday. I uh, reached out, I confirmed that we passed our inspection at the trades. So uh, if all goes according to schedule, Monday we're gonna get your, ins your walls insulated. And then after that, uh, once we've insulated the walls, we'll submit for insulation inspection. That's one that's usually not as tough. Uh, so we should pass that on Tuesday. And then we always have a one day buffer after inspections. Uh, the reason being is our trades have until 5 p.m. to complete their work. Uh, we have to submit inspection requests by 3 p.m. So you can do the math on that. That puts us in a little bit of a tough position. And we don't get our inspection results typically until the end of the day, uh, which is gonna be about 5 p.m. because the inspectors have to be out in the field doing inspections before they can go back to the office and put in all their paperwork. So um, we're looking hopefully to get confirmation that we passed on Tuesday afternoon slash Wednesday morning next week. We'll get our drywall stock. So all of the drywall boards will be delivered. And theoretically, if all goes well, uh, we'll be hanging drywall by Thursday or Friday of next week. So good progress, guys. Um, you saw the house, but I'm gonna go ahead and take you through. I try each week to just give you a quick walkthrough, let you see everything that's going on. We still have that pile of dirt behind your house. Uh, it usually takes our team about a week to get that cleared out. The reason there's water on the floor in the kitchen is because we had to top off the drainage system, we call it the DWV for inspection. And when we do that, they basically hook a hose up and they pump water in here and they fill it all the way up to the roof. Um, but if we don't have the roof boots installed, which we didn't until yesterday afternoon, uh, or I'm sorry, until yesterday morning prior to inspection, the water can still come in through the roof and that's why there's a tiny puddle right there. Please believe me when I say that's nothing to be concerned about. That is absolutely normal. Every single house we build, that happens when we top off the DWV, the drainage system. Just as I'm walking houses, making videos, I try to think about things that I would ask if I were the homeowner. That's a question I would have. So, nope, you do not have a leak in your roof. And you can see right here, the inspector, uh, when he inspects, they open that up to let the water come out. That's why there's a little bit right there as well. Just to give you guys a warm fuzzy, it's holding. That's exactly what we want. That tells us that all of the drain pipes are properly sealed. Same thing we want to check over here is the pressure gauge. And one thing that I like to do, this is more of a Mike Phelan being OCD thing. Um, I like to mark and then date the pressure gauge right there. And what that does is as we move into drywall, uh, and as we put a, a ton of screws in your walls, <laughs> it lets me verify that none of those screws punctured uh, any of your incoming water lines. We call them PEX lines, P-E-X. So I check that, and uh, if possible, I try to keep the water on the DWV stack, the drain, and also the water on the, uh, the incoming lines, the PEX lines, until after siding. Uh, the reason for that is the same. When we're putting the siding on, we're putting a bunch of nails in the wall to hold the siding onto your house on the outside. And that's just one more way that we can check to make sure there are no issues. So guys, that's what I have for you this week. If you have any questions, any concerns, any issues, please do let me know. It was great to meet you. And I look forward to continuing to work with you and provide you these updates. And in the very, very near future, nearer than it feels right now, we'll be getting together again for our final meetings. So I'll keep you updated on that, what our timeline's gonna be. It will be tentative until we send you the closing letter. Once you get the closing letter, which will be after flooring is done, 
Um, there will be three dates. It'll be your pre-closing orientation. That's where we get together one final time. We do one final walk through the house together, identify any issues that may be pending, any issues that I may have overlooked. Um, and then the second meeting is our build quality celebration, which is usually the day before or the day of closing. And then the third date is gonna be your close of escrow, which is your closing date. That's still a little ways out, guys, but just kind of feed you this information so you have it in your brain housing. And then as we move forward, I'll continue to kind of update you on these things. If you have any questions, any concerns, any issues, please do let me know. I hope you guys had a safe trip back. Thank you so much for driving 12 hours for a one hour meeting. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, and I hope you had that safe trip back. Have a good weekend and I'll talk to you soon.